Hello, welcome to the It's Your Life uh, with James Cooley. And I tell you, I am extremely excited about the show today because fitness is a part of my world, meaning that uh, everything that I do, I always try to get fitness in there and being able to work out at a great, great facility, great, great folks, and to understand that uh, the leadership of your facility really cares about you, the facilities and all of the things that uh, is going to make you better, going to keep you healthier, going to keep your mindset. And uh, we got uh, one of those pioneers on the show today, and uh, we're going to get an opportunity to uh, get a chance to know uh, this young man and and understands uh, what his philosophy is for all of these great gyms that uh, he's working with and that he's leading. We're talking uh, about Adam Seglat, and he is the CEO and president of UFC Fit. I love that gym. I love that gym. I love everything about it, and we're going to find out the history behind it, and we're going to learn a lot more detail. But before we get to Adam, I got to always bring my absolutely fantastic co-host, Michelle Coolian. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I am excited about this guest today. I'm excited about the topic. And you're right. We are a fitness family. And one of the most important things, at least to me, where I go to work out is I want to feel that, first of all, the establishment I'm going to has exactly what I need as far as to keep fit and also how they treat me as a member. And that's very important. And also the equipment is important too, because, um, you know, we always have to keep up to date, but I'm really excited about the show today, James. Yeah, I'm excited about it. And you know what, I'll tell you what, I, why don't we just uh, get started? Why don't you tell our, our viewers and our listeners uh, what the title, the purpose, but before, before we do that, wherever you watch this at, if you're watching on E360 TV, uh, hey, thank you for watching. And if you're watching on, on the 16, 20 plus uh, streaming networks, if you want to be part of this conversation, go to the comments. You know, you can uh, authorize StreamYard to uh, show your Facebook uh, picture profile. And you can ask this great man any questions that you want to and he will answer. So, Michelle, let's get the, let's get this thing started. Why don't, why don't you tell us the purpose? the title, the purpose, and introduce this great guest. Yes, of course. The title of the show today is CEO Adam Setlack. And the purpose of the show is getting to know the chief executive officer of UFC Gym, fitness industry veteran and visionary Adam Setlack, discuss how UFC Gym became a global fitness franchise and trailblazer of mixed martial arts inspired fitness, Talk about the benefits of MMA with fitness and F UFC's unique train different approach provided to its members. And talk about the wide array of classes and amenities that UFC provides. Now, as far as our guest today, Adam Setlack, a fitness industry veteran. Setlack has more than three decades of leadership expertise with 12 of those years dedicated to his role as UFC Gym's president before coming UFC's gym CEO. He joined UFC Gym as a co-founder and helped build the concept from the ground up. It was the first major brand extension of UFC. Through Setlack's vision and leadership, UFC Gym's footprint has grown to include more than 160 locations throughout 37 countries and continues to expand and evolve with new locations. The introduction of the company's new UFC Fit concept, new technology for group fitness and the gyms, and a live streaming workout platform, domestic and international franchise growth, and many more. The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life, presents the Chief Executive Officer of UFC, Adam Setlack, to the show. How you doing, Adam? Welcome to the show, my friend. How you doing? How you doing today? Michelle, James, thank you. And I, your introduction was fantastic. I especially liked when James called me a young man. I, I want to remember <laughs> that. Uh, and remind me that uh, in my will, I'm going to have you speak at my funeral. <laughs> you did a fantastic job uh, um, presenting me. So I appreciate that. Adam, uh, we really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to talk about uh, this great topic. I'm talking about UFC. I told you I love it. I, I mean it. And uh, first of all, can 
you tell our, our viewers and our listeners a little bit about you. I know Michelle mentioned some things about you. Can you tell them where you grew up and the, the lessons that you learned that uh, led you to be the man that you are today? And you know, big camps? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, you know, I grew up in a very small city called Albany, Oregon, 27,000 people and, and uh little community but you know like in any little community you you learn really good localized values and i had a dream to become a professional athlete and so the objective was to go to college and become an nba player uh, i soon realized that although i i chased that dream and 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 was, was going after that direction did not have the natural athletic capability and skill set to be able to get there but my mind was still extremely competitive um, and loved fitness as a uh, industry and loved fitness as a way of life and so as i was exiting college i went out to southern california and looking at different opportunities just to keep afloat financially i got a summer job uh, at a place called 24 hour fitness. Uh, this is going all the way back to 1994 where I started as a front desk, uh, associate, uh, became a floor instructor, became a salesperson, AGM, GM, district manager, regional manager, VP, senior vice president, and, and uh, eventually a divisional president with 24 hour fitness over, I think about a 17 year period. Uh, during that time, uh, in the first couple of years in my career, I was able to meet my wife um, where uh, she was a, a front desk receptionist. So please don't tell anybody that because it's an HR violation. We don't want <laughs> to spread that. Thank God it worked out because I may, maybe I wouldn't be here, but um, we got married and, and have four kids. And, you know, we've, we've moved 21 times throughout the U.S., uh, primarily driven around professional opportunity. Um, and that was fantastic because, you know, not only, you know, touring with the four kids and three dogs, but it was a chance to learn geographically uh, about different cultures and different ways of life and, and the ability to understand the difference between West Coast, East Coast, Midwest and how people look at fitness. And, and so it's been a blessing. And, and through that journey, I've had the opportunity to have multiple mentors and, and learn from uh, a, a ton of people and and just been very grateful to be able to be in the position that i'm in today so so adam uh, so you say you started out at the, at the front desk and now you looking over the whole organizations what was the most important lesson that you learned uh that you said to yourself i can do this i can rise to the top can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I think it's important to know that we all have insecurities within us. And no matter what you do and when you start it, you're always going to be a little secure as you're stepping into any role. And I was no different. I, as I stepped in from even as a front desk person, you know, I if you if you're empathetic and you have a strong caring, you're always going to have that feeling of how can I do a better job? And, and I think one of the things that I learned early on is nothing can beat work ethic. If you, if you have strong work ethic and you have extreme empathy, it's very hard for you to fail at anything. I am definitely not the smartest guy in the room. Um, most would argue I'm not the best looking guy in the room, although we could debate it and we, 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 could, we could take time to debate that. But and I definitely don't have the best hair in the room. Um, uh, you know, James, you and I can have that competition, but, oh, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but we, you know, when it, when it comes to work ethic and caring and, and wanting to be around people, it, it's what I love. And, and so I think, I think, you know, work up, work ethic and empathy are two key variables to anything or, or anything that anybody wants to do at a very high level, because that creates authenticity. And authenticity is what transfers into leadership and the ability to hopefully drive for results. Adam, physical fitness to you. I know you said that, you know, you had dreams of being in an MBA, you know, um, when you were uh, growing up. Physical fitness, I guess, to a lot of people means just going to the gym, working out, eating right. 
But if there's so much more to it than that, especially where you work out, what your mindset is. So can you kind of clear up what really is physical fitness and what does it really encompass besides the physical part of it? Good question, Michelle. You know, there's there's 168 hours in a week, right? And the number one health enemy against being consistently fit in most cases is procrastination. It's the easiest thing in the world to push off. And I want to just make sure that everybody hears this is a little bit is better than nothing because a little bit creates progression. Movement is better than no movement. And so taking one step after the other is the start of physical fitness and a regiment around fitness. But let's be clear, the, you know, as we age, there's lifestyle um, characteristics or lifestyle elements that you want to consider. And so it's not just pushing weight and moving. It's also nutrition and, and, um, and the right amount of sleep and, and there's a lot that goes into your mental capacity to be able to handle the adversity of life. And so I look at fitness as very holistic and the ability to uh, put you in a position that you're most likely to succeed to achieve results. And results is what motivates people to overcome that number one health enemy of procrastination. Oh, I definitely agree with that. I mean, there are people who, you know, certain workouts or certain programs may not be for them. It's really based on the person, but working and starting in the fitness industry, you know, front desk and the many roles you had after that before UFC, did you have a vision exactly what you wanted? Let's say the, an idea what, type of physical fitness establishment that you want to lead and you want to um, promote to the public? Did you have a vision within yourself of exactly, okay, what, what do I want to do? What's important, not only to me, but talking to the members, wherever gym you were at, did you kind of like put it together how you want to create this atmosphere? Yeah. You know, in the first three to four years, I can sincerely tell you no. You know, in the first three to four years, I was finding myself and who I was within the fitness space. Uh, but then after you identify who you are and you identify this is what you want to do, then the next step is to be as, 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 as good as you can inside that role within that fitness facility. Uh, once you do that, then you ask yourself, how can you always improve and how can you get better within the four walls that you're that you're that you're currently um, participating in? But as you develop that confidence through repetition and awareness, you start to ask yourself, how can you innovate to continue to make sure that fitness not only stays relevant, but is exciting to everybody that comes through those doors. And so, yeah, I, th I think as you, as you fast forward through the first four or five, six years of, of my fitness career, it was really about the fundamentals and the basics. But then as you get to year five and, you, and year forward, you're always thinking about how do you get a little bit better, both personally and professionally, and how can you share that information with the powers that be to make sure that change can be impacted? I always saw fitness as somewhere where people come together to find the best version of themselves. And, and there's many different ways to do that, right? There's some people that are very passionate about boxing and, and, and hit classes and free weights. And there's some people that are passionate about Zumba. And so whatever that modality is, we wanted to make sure that, that, that we have world-class facilities to be able to support that. But it's how you do it and you can't accomplish and take on everything at one time right you got to do it with some sophistication and you have to do it in a process that is replicatable and duplicatable so yeah there, there was a there was certainly early on understanding the basics and becoming the best version of myself and then it's understanding how to give the right feedback and hopefully identify how we can continue to uh, support innovation in the fitness space on a go forward basis wow you know, well put, well put. You know, we're going to take a station break, but when we get back, we're going to talk about UFC. 
we're going to talk about that great facility. We're going to talk about, uh, again, your vision. And we're just going to talk about all the things that are important uh, to the staff, the growth, and ensuring that uh, we have plans in place uh, to continue moving forward. It's your life. I'm Dr. James J.C. Cooley. We'll be back with Adam right after the break. Life is a series of circles and cycles, phrases and stages. These experiences teach you the lessons of life. You can either ignore them or embrace them. Welcome to It's Your Life with James Cooley. James is a motivational speaker, author, military veteran, and founder of the J.C. Cooley Foundation. James is here to equip you to strive for greatness and overcome adversity. It's time to get you equipped today for the challenges of tomorrow. Now, here's the host of It's Your Life, James Cooley. Noah Dingley here, producer of The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life. And the new audio version of James' book, Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet, is a must-have. James shares his true life story of struggle and success in America. It's both a cautionary tale and a roadmap to achieving the American dream. Get the new audio version of Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet, by James Cooley on Amazon.com or wherever audio books are sold. Welcome back to It's Your Life. I'm Dr. James J.C. Cooley, and I got my fantastic guest, Adam Seknack here, that uh, is a CEO president of UFC Fit, Fitness Gyms. And uh, I tell you, as I said earlier, and I, I'm a big fan, I have been to uh, gyms in Florida. Uh, I live in Texas. I live in California. Uh, what? what when, when I'm going somewhere, I always look for one of these gyms because I love all the facilities that's there. Um, I love the people. Uh, well trained. I mean, it seemed like Adam, you, you made sure you had the right for folks. <laughs> and uh, it's just a, a pleasant, happy environment. And so if you want to be part of this great conversation, you can ask Adam any question you want to. Go to the comments on whichever platform that you're watching this on and just just ask this young man uh, any question that you you want. Yeah, Adam, I want to talk about uh, UFC fitness and fitness gyms. And yeah, you already said how you rose through the ranks uh, from just being at the front desk, and having the fortitude and uh, and uh, determination to rise to the top. And um, your concept of what you're doing with these gyms, like in the back, you got. Without challenge, there is no change. They always have to be a challenge, but that challenge goes from the top down and, and from bottom up because everybody uh, opinion matters in making sure that we have a world-class facility, and that's what you have created. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure. Uh, you know, first of all, from a leadership perspective, you always want to have a reverse pyramid, right? Where you turn it upside down and have a very good foundation where the uh, voices of the team member is always heard. Whenever an organization just tries to make boardroom decisions for the entire company without hearing the field, it can sometimes be complicated. So you always want to do that. But when you when you take a step back and you look at the ultimate fighting championship, I mean, this sport is incredible and you look at the evolution and the growth 
what it stands for, what it represents. Uh, it's amazing. And, and then you get more microscopic and you just look at a UFC athlete. And in my opinion, the UFC athlete is the best conditioned athlete on planet earth, both physically and mentally. And why is that? Well, when you're an athlete that is getting ready to have combat against another athlete to put yourself in the best position of success, you both have to be in the best shape of your life physically and mentally and emotionally. And so when an athlete prepares to, for that type of contest, you look at their fight camp and you look at their fight camp 12 weeks out, 14 weeks out, where they bring in the best world-class coaches on planet earth, whether it's a, a conditioning coach, a jiu-jitsu coach, a wrestling coach, a boxing coach, even a psychologist, a nutritionalist, uh, all these coaches <clears throat> work together to identify where the opportunities are with the athlete, to provide inspiration, to provide education, to provide accountability, to get that athlete so incredibly confident so the day that they enter the octagon, they're in the best shape of their life and they're prepared to take on anything or any adversity that's in front of them. So when you pattern, when you look at that and you can pattern a gym off of that premise and that platform, you can create something very special. So that is UFC gym and UFC fit. It's the ability to understand UFC athletes and the community that they put around them and translate that into fitness where an everyday consumer, an everyday customer, they don't have to be prepared to fight in the octagon, but everybody has a fight. James, you got a fight. Michelle has a fight. Everybody has their own personal fight. It could be to lose weight. It could be to get endurance, stamina, or you may actually want to prepare to fight in some sort of ring or octagon. Whatever the situation, whatever the circumstance, UFC Gym and UFC Fit is prepared with our community to help you find that best version of yourself through the fundamentals and basics of how a UFC athlete trains. Wow. So what are some of the other things that make UFC Fit Gyms uh, different and unique uh, than others? Because you just uh, talked about a uh, small uh, facet uh, of that, but it's so many more things that uh, UFC is doing programs, kids, and, yeah. you know, yeah. Yes. Can, can we talk about that a little bit? Well, it starts with kind of words that would describe, hopefully, the way you feel when you're in one of our gyms. And uh, I, I think one word is fun. When you go to the gym, if you can't have fun and you're not having fun, more than likely you're not going to come back. One word is inspire. And, and are you inspired to continue your workouts through results? Another word could be grit because let's face it, we all hit plateaus. We all hit walls. We all hit adversity. And can you overcome that with a little bit of grit? I think another word is humble, right? Because you're around some of the best athletes in the world. You're also around in that same gym or that same facility. You're around people that maybe want to lose a hundred pounds or, or people that have incredible life stories that they bring to the organization. And then the last one is be, feel like you're part of a team. So if you take the first letter of each one of those words that I just described, it spells fight. And that's why we're all fighters. And so within our facility, you can see things like a million dollars of equipment, a, ba a bag room, a mat room for jujitsu, a youth training room, full recovery centers with things like cryotherapy, compression therapy, red light therapy, aqua massage, um, nutrition services. And so really... This is all designed to create this holistic opportunity to inspire you to get in there, to take one step forward, to get yourself in a class, to get yourself with one of our coaches, which is what our true brand proposition is, so you can get in the best shape of your life, which hopefully will allow you to stick with fitness for the rest of your life. Wow. So let's 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 give this example. So I'm looking for a gym, got a free pass to UFC, let's just say. And I'm uh, about 100 pounds overweight. Let's just, let's just say I'm obese. And yes, there's plenty of classes. The coaches are there. What 
but what does the, the 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 fitness coaches and trainers if I'm going to the gym and I'm struggling to keep up with the class or I feel a little bit insecure seeing just all these great people in shape what are the coaches going to say or help me with if I have some issues physically or I'm just not there yet this is the first time I ever worked out so can you can you kind of get into that Adam well, first and foremost, Michelle, assuming that you're that customer, you're, you want to lose 100 pounds, the most important thing in that hour or 90 minutes that you're at the gym is you. Nothing else matters at that point. And really, when you think about life and you think about people, in most cases, people just want to be heard and they want to know that you're aware of what they're doing and why they're doing it. So the coach's job is to is to figure that out, is to understand the why behind your what of losing 100 pounds, identify what's stopping you, what's been holding you back, both physically and mentally, and through their education and through their certifications and through their personal awareness, make sure that you have a platform, a program to help you uh, get into the fitness program. And it could be very slow. It could be at a very moderate level. And then we put a plan together to increase that intensity over a period of time. The fact is, is that people that come in and overcompensate are the ones that really leave the quickest. But the people that come in with a good plan, it's it's a permanent plan for a permanent problem, right? It doesn't mm-hmm. go away. The thing about fitness is you got to stay consistent. It's not about working out five hours a day every day of the week. It's about doing what you can do in your personal lifestyle today and making it part of your lifestyle and then continuing on for the rest of your life. And so I think with, in regards to our coaches and trainers and environment, you're going to find it incredibly welcoming. I know it seems a little odd because I have these three incredible letters UFC at the beginning of, of the, of the gym title or the gym name. Uh, but really uh, those three letters are what this community is all about. It's about embracing everybody, no matter who you are, where you come from, to help you drive results so you stick with this forever. Basically, it's about the members and their coaches setting up realistic goals presently, and then the goals may change over time, but just kind of start off based on your level of fitness, kind of, you know, moderate, slow, or fast, whatever it is. So it's about realistic goals. Am I correct in saying that? It it is, but it's also about your why. You know, Mm -hmm. if you're if you're in the gym because you're 100 pounds overweight, there's probably a good chance you either feel that that you're getting older and you could die before you'd like to die. Or a doctor told you you better get to the gym because of your blood pressure or something's there. And Mm -hmm. it's up to us to make sure we figure out your why, because that is your key motivator. Right. Results will obviously help validate that motivation. But the X factor is that idea that made you step into the gym, because that's the hardest part. Whatever that was, it's the coach's job, it's the team member's job to make sure that they connect with you at that point and really help your fitness experience so you stay there, you get results, and you maximize it in the least amount of time. Adam, you mentioned some of the services that UFC provides, and hope I'm saying this right, cryotherapy or something like that. Cryotherapy. can you kind of go into what that is and what that does for the the person who's experiencing that? Yeah, well, I mean, it's really part of our recovery services. And so cryotherapy is like sitting in a freezer for three minutes, right? It's, it, it's just one modality of recovery that helps your body deal with fitness. Because as you come into a gym and you tear your muscle up and you and you, you do your cardiovascular modalities and, and, and you, your, your nutrition habits improve slightly and so forth, you want to make sure that you're also taking care of your body and your muscles and your mind through these recovery services. So things like cryotherapy, which is like, think about a 20, 30 minute ice bath that you get done in two to three minutes. It's very, very similar benefits and results. There's hydration, Red life therapy, which is good for if, if you if you have skin issues or skin irritation and, and some other some other vehicles, um, aqua massage. Uh, we we have something called hyper ace training, which is which is specific um, um, massage therapy to deal with with maybe ailments that you have in your body. So all of these services are designed 
So as you exercise and as you get fit and you feel a little bit sore, it's, it's, it's to help you deal with that soreness, come back quicker, sleep better, and get better time out of your life through those 24 hours a day. Wow. You know, this is this is so fun, so educational. And uh, and I tell you, um, great facilities, like like I said, I have had an opportunity to not only uh, work out at the UFC fit, but the smaller gyms as well. And uh, it's just, you know, similar uh, to the same, but just uh, at the fit facilities is so much more to do. You know what, Adam, we're going to take a station break. But we're gonna come back and pick it right back up after the break. Great. It's your life. I'm Dr. James Cooley. We'll be back shortly after the break. The J.C. Cooley Foundation is a nonprofit organization that was started in October of 2014. The J.C. Cooley Foundation continues to strive to expand its programs and offerings to the youth, young adults, and citizens of our great communities nationwide and overseas. We hope that you'll be able to take part in one or more of the many exciting events that we're offering this year and experience firsthand the pride we take in supporting our cause. It's our mission to equip the youth of today for the challenges of tomorrow. And we rely heavily on the generosity of individuals and business owners for support. Without the assistance of community-minded individuals just like you, we wouldn't be able to serve our youth each year. We ask that you make a commitment to support our annual appeal by making a cash donation. This year's goal is $50,000. Your generosity will assist us in making a difference in the lives of the youth in our community. You can give online at CooleyFoundation.org. Remember that every donation makes a difference regardless of size. The J.C. Cooley Foundation thanks you in advance for your contribution. Welcome to E360 TV, the live streaming and on-demand destination for influential voices and enlightened audiences. We offer trending, grassroots, and purpose-driven content across a diverse range of interests. E360 TV is more than just watching programs. We offer the ability to interact with live shows connecting audiences to real, authentic influencers and storytellers while streaming to millions of devices. Real experiences. Raw conversation. One destination for it all. E360 TV. Hello, welcome back to It's Your Life. I'm Dr. James J.C. Cooley, and I've got Adam uh, Setlack, who's the president and CEO of uh, USC Fit. And uh, just a great conversation that we're having right now. You know, and um, if you want to be part of the conversation, go to the comments and just ask uh, Adam any question that you want. And ask me a question as well. You know, so uh, uh, we're here for you. Adam, okay, so there is a slight uh, stigma that UFC people just walking by and they think in a UFC, they think that's just a fit gym with for boxers and M MMA fighters and stuff like that. Uh, what would you do to let our, our listening audience and public know that that's not true? You have to go in and check it out in order uh, for you to understand uh, all of the great things that UFC has to offer. And it's not just for boxers and fighters. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, we're very proud of those three letters because I think it's a big point of differentiation uh, in the industry because it creates community. It brings the best talent in regards to fitness into our gyms, and it gives us a real opportunity to make to impact change in every single trade area that we go in. So it's very important to us. But yeah, to your point, you know, sometimes people can drive by and say, I don't really want to be in the octagon and fight somebody on Tuesday. So uh, I'm not going to walk in and check that facility out, but let me assure you 
Uh, we're one of the highest, um, most integrated family facilities that you will ever see. And what's beautiful about our locations is when mom and dad are training, uh, your six-year-old son or your seven-year-old daughter can also train at the same time. And so we're not a facility where it's just about an, necessarily an individual coming in to work out. It's about you and your family that supports you on a daily basis, all coming to the gym to work out and integrate those those results together. So, uh, you know, I would just tell you story after story on on how, you know, I've seen uh, kids come in, you know, that have never exercised before and, and they started participating in our gym and through our core values of, of fun, inspiring, grit, humbleness, teamwork and, and, and so forth. They were able to connect emotionally to these gyms and get results and stay with fitness and it changed their life. So as a kid for going from a place where you don't feel confident or maybe you feel bullied all of a sudden you feel confident you feel more secure within yourself and you can live a better life i've seen stories where where females women have come in and, and they've been in challenging relationships or they feel very insecure or, or what have you and they come in and and i love watching some of the transformation that happens and the confidence that that's built in the people and the same thing can be said for men right we they're, they're, they're all we're all different we all wear a different costume and 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 the ability to come in and see that this is not a necessarily a hardcore fighting gym this is a fitness gym for everybody it's for the community uh it's for you to find the best version of yourself and it's for you to be able to demonstrate and show the rest of your family how you found that best version of yourself so they can join you. So we're very proud of that. We're very proud of the community and we're very proud of the experience. Wow. So Adam, um, where exactly, not exactly, but where, how many states or countries or, uh, that you all are located in? But before we do that, I want to show this, uh, and I meant to show it earlier. Uh, so hold on to that thought right there. Okay. But I'm going to show this little short uh, clip of uh, UFC. Uh, okay. You guys call it the, the Singapore hype video. So here we go. I love it. <laughs> Makes you want to work out, right? Oh, you know what? It's, it's uh, I'm I'm heading there uh, after this interview <laughs> to <Yeah>. UFC. <laughs> so, you know when so, I when I'm watching that video, James, I can't help but think about Dana White, um, <laughs> who you know through his leadership and his actions have been very instrumental with our brand, and when you look at a parallel level of our parent, which is the UFC and how Dana led the UFC through this COVID era, how Dana has led the UFC over the last 12 or 13 years and developed this world-class brand. And really it's driven by his authenticity and his ability to take his passion and his awareness of need of entertainment and need of great sport and take it to the next level. And I, when I saw that video, it just reminded me of him and how genuine and authentic our team and our people are that can bring a vision that Dana had, you know, way back when and make it relevant in gyms today. Wow. You know, so so where are some of these gyms located? And it's like I said, I've been to three states and worked out uh, at UFC fit gyms. But I know it's more than that. And I know probably your plan to 
be in all other states and as many countries as possible. Can you talk about that a little bit? Well, we're listen, we're all over the U.S. Um, and certainly we're now a global brand. So we're developing in 39 countries. We uh, we just opened some clubs recently, one in Plantation, Florida, another one in San Jose in Northern California. Uh, we're having a big, you know, kind of anniversary event in Cleveland this weekend. If so, if you're in the Cleveland area, Middleburg Heights, which is going to be exciting. Um, but we just also opened in Israel and we're about to open in Germany. And there's many other locations uh, internationally that we're either in process of opening or we soon will be opening. And so very exciting because what that does, it just continues to build our community and brings people together like-minded people that have fitness goals that have a desire to be a better version of who they are so they can give back to their families and community. Adam, so, you know, in 2020 when COVID hit and a lot of establishments um, were closed, especially physical fitness um, establishments, we know that um, basically the general public, as well as myself, you know, we had to do what we needed to do, do virtual workouts, et cetera. So how, what, what the, the mindset of UFC gym after COVID, did you tailor um, the workouts or maybe virtual workouts um, to address maybe some mental health things that the public was going through who do work out at your gym? How has UFC addressed that? Well, I'll try not to get too political here, but the during COVID, I was very fired up and had a level of frustration because what we were fully aware of is the stronger your immune system was, the more you were able to deal with COVID. And although initially nobody knew what we were dealing with, right? So there certainly um, was some relevancy to making sure that we paused for a second to see, okay, what, what is it that we're dealing with? But once science was able to share information and we understood how it was transmitted and we understood how the body dealt with the virus, then really was understanding that we need to put a lot of energy in teaching people how to build their immune system, how to get healthy and how to get fit. And of course, stage one of that in COVID was the virtual um, strategy because you, we, again, we didn't know um, yet how to deal with, with the pandemic. But as we started to get educated and more aware, it was about not only making sure there was a platform for you to get fit, whether you were at home, which by the way, we have a virtual platform, it's called boxitlive.com and you could take it wherever you're at. If you're traveling, if you're international, if you're domestic, you can go there, you can train with UFC athletes and other team members. But the real, the real item or area that I wanted to focus on was getting people back together. Because community from a mental perspective is so incredibly important to help people strive not only to, be, to become physically healthy, but also mentally healthy. And I'm really, I was really concerned for a couple of years, especially when you think about juniors and seniors in high school or juniors and seniors in college or, or kids that are two, three years of age that are very impressionable. The fact that everybody, you know, was behind the mask and stuck in a in a in a in a room and not able to really connect with other people and not really able to find a way to socialize in, in ways that we do normally, it really, really put a pause on life. And so I looked at it with my team, with the with the incredible team members that I have out across the UFC gym and UFC fit platform. And we said, hey, listen, we have to stand for something here. We have to give an opportunity. Um, to get people to respond and react to this pandemic and get their immune system built, to get their mental capacity and awareness at a whole all-time level of, of, of high in regards to a confidence level. So, so it was there was an opportunity, and and we saw the opportunity, and and we jumped on it because it's not just about money and dollars and business; it's about a moral obligation to make people better and to make people great through adversity. Uh, and that's what we dealt with for the last two and a half years. 
Wow. So, you know, there are people out there who may be still not comfortable working out at the gym and that's, you know, that's their personal choice. What um, services do you have for those who are members yep. who do not want to come into the gym? Can you kind of talk about that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, first and foremost, you know, I would love to have an individual conversation with those people because through our analysis, we found the the infection rate to be almost not measurable of, of, you know, in most cases, when people feel healthy, they go to a gym when, or they, they feel like they're not sick. When people feel sick, they stay home. And with UFC gym and UFC fit, the members and team members were so respectful. You, you really didn't, uh, you weren't able to really contract uh, the pandemic. You never say never, but but it was it was a pretty good uh, position to be in. But we also are aware that there are people that have um, um, issues with their immune system, or maybe they have health issues um, that prevented them, or it was just too risky for them to take that chance. And so that's when we did create a virtual platform. We worked with our business partners. So I worked with somebody called Forte to identify ways that we can bring virtual fitness to home, but not in a traditional sense. You, you can go on YouTube and find millions of fitness videos in today's world. I wanted to create an environment like you were really in the gym. So if you take like a, a, a future Hall of Famer and, and past world champion, Frankie Edgar, I have him teaching these classes. And the beautiful thing is, as he's teaching the classes, he can also see you at home if you would like to put your camera on. So he can actually have a conversation with you, kind of similar to what we're doing here at a very broad level globally. So we were able to, to, to illustrate and drive fitness in a virtual platform. We also working with our partners at DotFit and that team out there, which is an incredible nutritional platform. We were able to identify how to provide supplementation and better nutrition to people at home uh, where we could mail services to them. Uh, without having to leave the door so that, that really holistically allowed us to take care of our our current members our past members and future members in a way that in, in a very very way in a, in a way that we're very proud of to help people get to the best shape of their life even during the circumstances of a pandemic wow and you know it's all about um, being able to have facilities or have some type of way just like you just mentioned it virtual to continue to work out because uh, as you know, just as well as I do, a lot of people want to claim that the reason that they picked up 20 or 30 pounds, they want to call it COVID weight uh, or something like that. I call it uh, falling off the bandwagon and not staying focused. You know, we're going to take a station break the quick one this time. We're going to come back and pick it up. We're going to talk about what it takes to build a, a community, a fitness community. I mean, and how uh, UFC go about uh, identifying the communities where they're going to put their clubs. It's your life. I'm Dr. James J.C. Kulu. We'll be back shortly after the break. Dr. James J.C. The James Cooley Show. Dingley here, producer of The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life. And the new audio version of James' book, Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet, is a must-have. James shares his true life story of struggle and success in America. It's both a cautionary tale and a roadmap to achieving the American dream. Get the new audio version of Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet, by James Cooley on Amazon.com or wherever audiobooks are sold.
Hello, welcome back to Your Life. I'm Dr. James J.C. Cooley, and I got my fantastic guest here, Adam Seth, Dr. CEO, President of UFC Fit. And uh, I tell you, all the things that you're talking about um, is ways where mentally, physical, and emotionally, we can stay in balance and stay in shape. And I think all of those things are important uh, to uh, our fitness community, our fitness communities inside a gym, <laughs> you know, what? so it's communities where it's at. And it's also a community inside uh, the facility that you're, you're working out in. Adam, how do UFC go about building the community inside the gym facility? Do you guys have any certain type of events or promotions, or et cetera? Can we talk about that a little bit? Well, first of all, I, during our commercial break, I actually just friended you on Facebook, so I hope you accept my friend request. Oh, uh, because, that, because, because that's a, that's a way, right? Is that we want to connect with people on all their social platforms? Because let's be clear, UFC gym and UFC fit are not perfect, and we make mistakes. Sometimes maybe the gyms won't be perfectly clean, although we strive to be perfect at cleanliness. Sometimes mistakes can happen. Sometimes the music may not be perfect. We strive to have a great experience, but maybe there's a miss. And so we give our customers a voice in our gyms. We make them aware that they can contact everybody in our organization from um, the newest team member all the way up to me uh, to not only share areas of opportunity, but great milestones that they've been able to accomplish um, in their fitness and personal lives. So so we have a we have an incredible dynamic social media strategy to really integrate with our consumers. We host in most of our gyms, we actually host pay-per-view parties. And so um, when there's big UFC events, the member bases come together and they are able to watch live um, um, the events and, and, and really come together and have fun and and break some bread together. We like that. We have multiple challenges. So it, it'll be very common to see fitness challenges and ultimate challenges and youth programming challenges where kids can have competitions and adults can have competition that brings not only the participants, but also the supporters of the participants together in one place to come together as a community to help cheer people on uh, to accomplish those challenges. And so all sorts of those um, um, parameters are in place. And we use great technology like things like MyZone and Apple Watch and other things to help us support, um, you know, all, all of those functionalities and challenges that we have within our four walls. But we love it. We love community. We love awareness. We love our members and, and through classes and through our through our personal trainers, man, it, so, somehow they really bring the, the, the community word to life. Yeah, I love the MyZone. Uh, <laughs> you know, I. Uh... I didn't get to watch, but I got the uh, the waist, the belt, yep. the belt. and um, you know it's um, having that is a motivator for me. It is because I want to see how many calories I burned. I want to see how many steps. I want to see all of these things. So it's it's important, and uh, that's a great concept that uh, you all came up with. You know, so so Adam, I know that you you all are opening up uh, gyms all over at an enormous pace. What is your five-year vision? What is your vision for UFC Fit in the next five years? Where you want it to be? Well, at a very simple level, I just want to create with the team that I have around me. We want to create purpose and fitness. We really want to give reason people a reason to go to the gym. You see, so much of fitness in today's world is becoming low cost, meaning. For $10 a month, you can go work out on some workout equipment and leave for the day. We don't want we, we don't want that as the identity of who we are. We are not the least, the most least expensive gym in town. We're probably not the most expensive, but we're a premium expense where you get what you pay for. And we really want to make sure that through our classes and our product and our holistic fitness experience that we create that purpose in your life that makes you want to keep on coming back to our gym. So I think that's the biggest thing, uh, James, as we try to create this fitness global legacy, it's really about the purpose that can be identified within that legacy. 
Wow. Adam, we're down to the last three minutes, and uh, this is such an interesting uh, conversation that we're having. Um, what are two or three quick takeaways that uh, you want uh, our viewers and our listeners to get from this great conversation and read that we have? Well, I think in summary, I mean, I think you, you asked some great questions, is that UFC gym is for everybody. It's for the family. Uh, it's for kids. It's for adults. It's for everybody to come together to find the best version of themselves. UFC gym is not just about, you know, taking the modalities of boxing and jujitsu and wrestling and those types of things, but it's also the ability to take cycling classes, Zumba classes, body pump classes, and so forth. Um, UFC gym is on the front end of innovation in regards to technology and making sure that you can connect your lifestyle to how you want to train. And UFC gym proudly has some of the best people ever in the fitness industry involved to help take care of some of the best members ever in the fitness industry as they come in to work out every single day. I 100% agree with you. I agree with you. Adam, if uh, people want to reach out to you or, or, or UFC Fit or some staff members, how could they do that? Uh, I'm on Instagram, CEO UFC Gym. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm, I'm now on TikTok, which is incredibly entertaining. I'm learning it. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I mean, listen, I, they, they can find me anywhere and, and really everybody at UFC gym is very public. And so they're, they're one social media tag away from being connected to. So, uh, it's not hard to find me. Uh, uh you can, you can Google my name and, and you can, you can easily connect with me or anybody that's on our team globally. Michelle, uh, real quickly, you, you get about 35 or 40 seconds that you, do you have anything you want to say or uh, talk to Adam about? No, I just want to say I've been to UFC, UFC gyms. And first of all, the decor is beautiful, number one. And they do have a lot of up to date, you know, great equipment and great people to help and assist you. And it's a very, very great gym. And I just encourage people to try it out. Adam, I've been trying to get her to join for a while. I mean, I go there. I love it. She knows this. Uh, I think uh, we one step closer to getting her there. <laughs> well, well part, part of my service is I will actually come to your house. I'll put her over my shoulders and I will carry her to the gym. So she doesn't really have a choice, right? We'll get her there. We will get her there. Adam, uh, I want to thank you, my friend, so much. So I know how, I know how busy you are. Uh, for taking time out your busy schedule to come on the James Cooley show, It's Your Life. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to invite you back whenever you get an opportunity in your schedule uh, to continue to talk about this. So I want to thank you so, so much. I'd like to thank uh, my great co-host, Michelle Cooley, for the, she does all the heavy lifting to make me look good and make the show great. I'd like to thank our listeners for always tuning in to It's Your Life. And I tell you, I want everybody to always dream big, think big, and be big at everything you do. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time, same place. It's your life. I'm Dr. James J.C. Cooley.